Heart attacks tend to be increased in the winter. Heart attacks, heart attack deaths, they all tend to go up. And uh, ordinarily, heart attacks uh, occur in a pattern with a, a peak in the mornings and sometimes the evenings too. That pattern is maintained, just the total number increase in the winter. There are multiple studies that show this. We, a number of years ago, we, we published a study from a large clinical trial with these findings. We found uh, that Mondays had far more heart attacks. Uh, we found that winter had more heart attacks. We found that the warmer climates in very hot weather, actually, they had an increased incidence of heart attacks, too. The winter, in general, tends to be colder. There's less light. We know that uh, infection goes up in the winter. There's interesting data on, for example, uh, people who've had influenza vaccinations have fewer heart attacks in the winter than people who don't. So inflammation seems to play a major role. And inflammation tends to go up in the winter because of all the infections that are around. Sudden cardiac deaths and heart attacks are increased uh, in setting of snowstorms, blizzards particularly. What happens is people who don't exercise regularly suddenly get hit with two, two and a half feet of snow as we get here periodically, go out and do things. A combination of exposure to the cold, which causes constriction of blood vessels, uh, tremendous exertion because it's hard work, shoveling, uh, increases catecholamines, uh, the adrenaline-like hormones, and that one can cause arrhythmias just primarily, and secondly, it can cause the plaque to rupture. So there are a variety of things that seem to play a role in, in this whole process of, of uh, causing more events in the winter. Right now, I think it's largely a matter of using these data to learn the causes, to learn the pathophysiology, so we can adapt treatments accordingly. Generally, uh, the advice would be don't go out and do exertion when you're not used to doing it. Get all your vaccination. That's, that's a simple thing. I mean, everybody should do that anyway, even without the, these data. Certainly try light therapy for people with seasonal affective disorder, which is very effective in some people, but not in others. Probably moving to warmer climates would good, be good, but not all of us can or want to do that. Generally, common sense is probably the best we can do, and we're still gathering data to learn about this.